Hello everyone, this is Derek Picker with Reef Automation. I've gotten a lot of questions uh, lately about how I do my RO system, so I wanted to go through it uh, step by step in the parts that I'm using. Um, also, we're going to go over what parts, uh, how I'm hooking up each part, and how I use everything so that way I get the best water, water quality at, and the amount that I need. So you'll see I have two bins. I have a saltwater bin and a freshwater bin. So we'll start with that. Both of them have a high-low sensor which triggers my two solenoids right here. And then I have a Y adapter that comes into the last output. Um, each one of my canisters here has a TDS meter on a triple uh, monitor. So I know when any of my units or canisters need to be changed by looking at the TDS on their output. So I use SpectraPure filters. I use a silica buster, a max cap, and an enduro. And those are my three stages of my DI. I have a pressure switch here that when it receives pressure, turns off and on my booster pump here. The reason I have a booster pump is because I have a dual membrane system at 200 gallons per day. So I upgraded my original uh, 75 per gallon and I put in two um, hundred per gallon per day membranes in. When you do that you're gonna need two membranes and a booster pump in order for this to work because it requires a high amount of pressure. You'll also notice that I have an auto flush kit as well and this is the 800. So how this works is basically when the system turns on it turns the booster pump on based on the pressure from the pressure um, switcher right here. And it also turns on the auto flush to indicate when it needs to be flushed or when the water is running. So it's very important that you hook it up a certain way. So my incoming water line does not go into the booster pump. My, in my incoming water line goes straight to my sediment filter, which is a rewashable 0.5 micron sediment filter. And then I go through my two carbon stages. I have a one and a five micron. I then run the output of my third um, canister here into the booster pump. I then run the booster pump into the membrane. And that's how I run this. I then run the output right here into the DI of the membrane output into the first chamber of the DI. I run about a pressure of roughly 80. You'll see it back there. Um, that's generally a good pressure for the amount of water that I'm making. But I found it essential to put the booster pump after the first three stages into the membrane. That seems to work the best and provide the best um, performance out of the carbon filters and sediment filters. I also have a dual gauge here. One of my incoming TDS, which would probably be generally 200 or so, and then one on the output of the membrane. The output of the membrane should always be zero. And that'll indicate to me whether or not my membranes are going bad. So that's how I've set this up to know when I have to change them. That's how I've set this up to know when each canister needs to be replaced. And I also have the dual splitter. So I'm able to turn this on and off to, based off of pressure from the high and low sensors that are in my solenoids or in my uh, reservoirs. So that's about it. Um, you'll notice I have a cutoff right here. So that way, whenever I need to change my DI cartridges, I just turn off the water going to them and then I can change them out. I also have an incoming water cutoff, which allows me to change these when I need to. And it's a pretty basic setup, but it's a full seven stage system. Um, and I get just about zeros across the board through ICP when I use this system. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you'll notice how I mix my salt and I have a sensor that indicates when I need to when I need to fill up the salt uh, into this bin. And then I also have the fresh water, which is pulling up to both of my fish tanks and my reef bot up here. It's all getting pulled from this reservoir, so I don't have to use a unit right next to my reef bot. So again, uh, just a quick video on how I use my RODI system. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and please like and subscribe to the channel. 
Um, I do live streams every Saturday morning, and sometimes I give away great prizes. Um, if you have any questions, uh, once again, just uh, leave them in the comments below, or you can contact me on our Facebook group. Thank you for watching, and you guys have a great day.